When we started to plan our course in this semester, we were very interested in the idea of how many containers work together as a city. So we started to think about the different levels and the different climate zones. And we were really looking forward how this can work. Somewhere in Europe or whatever, they will be taken by truck, go to the customer, will be there loaded and come back to the port and go then by, then by a ship to everywhere, all around the world. That's what we are doing here. We are also building containers, but at the moment we have nothing under progress. Maybe in Bremen, but here none. But you also have a controlled atmosphere. So you can stop the, the right hand of it or you can pro proceed with it. In this area, in this area, the bugs repair shop and then. The city we are chosen is the Norris Gate. It's one of the most northern part in the world. Basically, the city is suffering the most uh, cold weather in the world. The city called Yingxiu. Uh, the city is located in the southwest of China. We decided to create an amphibious community. Solution on Haiti. Uh, there's a city in Dubai and um, in, under the situation of terroristic attack. Um, so, the idea of our project is that we bring the container as a basic structure. The selection of relocation sites is important to guarantee sustainability and social responsibilities in the long run. And they stay outside most of the day, so we try to design um, different outside spaces. Basically, we are trying to do some uh, like cluster things in the northern part of the world. We are dealing mainly with the flood situation. Um, based on the Dubai situation and the climate environment, our procedures in urban levels, we proceed in the four stages from our emergency plan to the expanded plan and then to a more mature temperature city for the victims of the catastrophe. 
Uh, the place has uh, undertake a very heavy earthquake in 2008, and it was totally destroyed. So our proposal is to use container as the tools to build uh, residential clusters and as well as uh, emergency schools, which is going to be a shelter in the future for these people. And uh, our proposal is divided into plans and also as well as architectures and techniques. So. And that it comes out to a very uh, good result, and we actually learn a lot from it. I'm actually doing some research about decentralized sanitation systems, also garbage treatment, what would be possible for emergency situations, and what would be the tr traditional, typical ways of treating sewage, and what would be more innov innovative um, systems to use. Basic functions for the Here is the elevation, so we can see how the, the different building blocks develop. What we try to create is a unique architecture to respond to all functional, environmental and cultural issues that we have when it's happened a natural or man-made catastrophe. Actually, results of the results of this project are really fascinating. We have different scales, we have different climatic zones, uh, we have different urban heritage approaches. Uh, so we cover the whole spectrum of uh, working with containers in an emergency situation. But I think uh, this project will really lead us forward to yeah, further scientific and architectural questions.